to show you guys. So this is where I caught my foot. Dang, girl. I can't wait really to do this update until I do my check. I have to check it tomorrow. Pause. Doctor. Um, I didn't want to do this until my checkup. I have a checkup tomorrow. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, did she even hear what she says? Yeah, I'm just praying. Or, yeah, I'm just praying. We're okay, so I'm obviously praying, and we're okay, so I'm obviously praying, and... She even confirms here in a live stream that after her first HSG test, she was still unable to get pregnant for three years. And, um, I've done it, again, for no one understanding, I have done it years ago. Can I just say? Fill the room with the juice, yo. That's a lot of loot. Uh, that bit fire. Uh, yeah, she kind of cute. Don't need any more nigger big shot. Welcome back to my channel. You already know we are in Utah right now. That's why the setup is a little funky, a little different. I saw your comment and I immediately said, what Trisha Paytas drama? Not gonna lie to you. I had, I didn't even, huh? Trisha Paytas drama? I didn't even know what was going on. No clue. So, of course, do my due diligence. And I'm coming across, she done fell off of some stairs and she copied another YouTuber who also fell from the stairs. So, I come across this video. It's 20 minutes long. I fell down the stairs, but I'm okay. Huh? You know what I mean? So, I already mentally, I'm like, I don't know if I can sit through a 20 minute video of Trisha freaking paid us talking right now. But before we hop into that video, because I'm going to do my due diligence and try, we're going to go into this, which I just, I still can't believe the title. Trisha Paytas is sexually attracted to her brother. That's going to be a separate video. There's no way. We, we can't put it all in one video. It's, it's too much going on in the world. So we're going to start with the Trisha Paytas lying about her pregnancy. Then we'll go into the I fell down the stairs, but I'm okay. So uh, we'll see. Anyways, let's hop in here. Trisha Paytas lying about... Trisha credits the HSG test for why she got pregnant after trying so hard for years. Struggling for years to get pregnant. Okay. Okay. And HSG test. She states that they had been trying since October 2020 to have children, but only turned to the HSG test recently. Okay. Because I think it's HSG test all the way because we have been trying since October 2020. That's the thing that I mean. Like, that was the thing that was like, you know, like, I ain't gonna do that test. She this is. That this doctor that they went and told her that I haven't seen them in a minute. <laughs> like, go right the baby. Ooh, those nails, girl. So so oh wait, pause. Her freaking nails. I just came across her little like ASMR video where she has like nails and then she touches like designer things. Yo, the views on there had me like, hold up. Hey guys. Hope everyone is well. Today we are doing um, the highly, highly requested purse collection. Um, I have so many purses. I love the one center. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No wonder this woman got money, bro. We've been trying. The views have me shook. I was like, people really watching this? Girl, put me on, okay? However, in August of just last year, she stated that she had an HSG test done and her tubes were scarred and she went five years being unable to get pregnant. I need that shirt. I love mac and cheese. There's always She even confirms here in a live stream that after her first HSG test, she was still unable to get pregnant for three years. And um, I've done it again for no one understanding. I have done it years ago. And Can I just say? If Trisha Paytas does lie as consecutively as she does, as again, I'm not saying she doesn't, but if she does and, and, and she's not realizing, part of me feels that it may be aligned with whatever disorder she claims to have. And I only say that because there are things that I have forgotten that I, I just, sometimes it baffles me that I forgot it. it I, 
it scares me. It makes me think that, you know, I'll have an early case of dementia, to be honest with you. I think that was a few weeks ago. It's scary. But I'm not giving hopes up. The first HSG test was um, not successful. And that's really okay. We're fully prepared. So it's misleading to those who are struggling with infertility issues to be told on a more viral platform like TikTok that an HSG test helped her automatically get pregnant when the truth is that she tried hey, one before with years of no success even after. I remember saying, Trisha, you're not a doctor, when we watched that video and somebody commented, I don't remember who it was, but somebody commented and said, like, what do you mean? Like, you have no idea how hard it is to have a baby. Like, she's absolutely a correct or something like that. I can't remember. But because I don't have the knowledge, literally the experience, like I've never had a child, definitely haven't been there. And so because of that, it's like, I just don't like talking about things that I don't know of, right? So I just felt like, and eh, Trisha, let's not do that. Only because I feel like anytime Trisha does something in the aspect of like advice, it just bites her in the ass every single time. After it. She should be honest. It, I don't know. It's just like. To share it so that she doesn't spread false hope to those struggling. That's what I was saying. Get instant savings when you enroll in Snapshot. Pro. If you don't you shut up, progressive. Small business. Y'all, too expensive. Yeah. This quality is fire. Jesus. Is it because I'm on my, on my, on my nice MacBook? It, it must be. It must be. Because y'all. Mm, it's so clear. <laughs> I'm like, girl, I can count your freckles on your chest. She doesn't look bothered. If it was, I mean, honestly, if it was you, let's say it was you. Let's say it was you and you fell down the stairs and you were pregnant, you know. Would you be doing this? Would you, you know, would you post a video about it? Talk about it 20 minutes, you know. And another thing is like, can somebody find me a video where Trisha is looking into the camera consecutively, like consecutively talking for like at least 15 seconds? Like, yeah. So this is blah, 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 blah. Blooply, you know what I'm saying? Like literally. But she tends to constantly look up and away and it's just like, sometimes I just feel like it's very much like thinking of what to say, AKA thinking of a lie, right? So it's- I was trying to get the streamers off the food and I just misjudged the stare. And I literally, my walking, my foot caught like this and it bent back like a pretzel. And I hurt my knee, same knee I hurt the first time three years ago, you know, my knee just, of that so this time I can't take pain pills because I'm pregnant and I can't want really to do this update until I didn't do my check. I have to check it tomorrow. Pause. My doctor. Um, I didn't want to do this until my checkup. I have a checkup tomorrow. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, did you even hear what she says? But I am two weeks, so you know, right? Everything's okay. Um, how do you, a lot of googling and how do you know everything's Google okay? Is far. Um, greater falls. Googling. Okay. You know, we're okay. So I'm obviously praying and, you know, they say in the second trimester you have really strong uterine timing, I guess it is. Interesting. When she said praying, she rolled her eyes compared to praying, like praying the body function, not necessarily what you do. So like, let me give you an example. Yeah, I'm just praying or yeah, I'm just so I'm obviously praying and you close your eyes, right? So closing your eyes, looking back, closing your eyes, looking up or rolling your eyes, whatever the heck. I just feel, I just find that very um, interesting. The baby's really protected in there, but it was really, really scary um, for me. It was having so much pain that I threw up the first, 
felt like I had all pregnancy and I was just, I think I was in shock. I think I might have caught myself enough. I don't remember. I just remember I was holding the tray. All of a sudden the tray of foods in front of me. I started like, getting really hot and sweaty because the pain. It's, it's, it always, when I hurt my knee the first time, it was always the pain. And it can make you so nauseous. Um, and, you know, everyone was going to come. But I was like, everyone just stay there because I didn't want people like crowding around me. Um, of course, Moses, you know, was with me and helped me. I ended up peeing myself right away. Um, it was just like crazy. But I was actually thankful that there were people here and around because it kind of um, helped me get like my big girl pants on and just kind of really analyze like, okay, I'm okay. Um, mm-hmm. Imagine you know, if you were by myself, but I was just with Moses. I think I would have like over um, hyped myself. For falling, you know, down, falling down in period. That's the serious thing I think for anybody when they're pregnant. And um, so right now, my knee, it's the same knee, and my foot. I can show you guys. So this is where I caught my foot. Damn, girl. Just a little scrape right there, but it's more like the knee. My upper stairs, which I just did once last night, it's just like. So much pain. Wait, so her 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 leg isn't swollen, right? That's swollen from the pregnancy, correct? Ladies, let me know. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. But dang, I have a bad knee, so that's why I'm like, oof, I low key understand that, cause man, the first time my knee just, I was like, that was when I really was like, yeah, I'm old. You know what I mean? Like, it's a wrap. I'm 26. It's over. I'm old. No one cares about me. Okay, you know what I mean? Okay. A lot heavier since my last knee injury. Um, and of course, I'm pregnant. Um, so, my biggest concern, when I'm just doing this video to let you guys know, because I don't really know what kind of content anyways this channel was headed, but I just might actually take a little bit of a break here. I'll give you guys updates on this, because we go to the doctor tomorrow, or I'll post on my vlog channel or something. But I just wanted you guys to know, because I just, mm-hmm. I haven't been like myself all day, like, I can't really my phone without getting sick, and... Um, I don't think you're gonna feel like yourself, right? I'm pretty sure. I mean, I've heard so many women say that they kind of lose themselves once they become a mother or once they're in pregnancy or have the baby. Whatever it is, they just, they feel themselves losing themselves. And some women say, you know, I felt that and then immediately made sure that I didn't lose that. So we hired a nanny and a what do they call it? Dupla, dupe, whatever. But besides the freaking point, you know what I mean? Like, are you supposed to feel like yourself? I don't think you're supposed to. I, don't, I really don't. I think there's even a video that like outlines pregnancy from like one month to two months and it breaks it down really well. If I, if I could if I find it, I'll put it in here and I'll link it below too because this is a good video to really like show you the different stages and hormones that women go through when they're having a baby. It's interesting as F. Like, I don't know. It's interesting to me. Like, I am okay. Um, I just, I feel really, like, just out of it. And really sick. But I also, because I Google so many people's stories of falling well, but pretty much I never do. I don't Google anything bad when it comes to pregnancy. I don't like to know the worst that could happen. But I did just want to know. Um, I want people have broken legs while pregnant. You know, with the different circulation, because you can get blood clots that could be fatal and all like that. It's just, I just felt like I needed to share this um, to because I Google so much and it's actually relatively normal for. We need to watch um, the Colleen video, whatever video supposedly Trisha is like copying. I need to watch that video because maybe she did. You know start Googling things, saw that other video, and was like, all right, I'm gonna make a video like that. But I don't know what video was first. So if you guys can give me some context, that would be amazing. Pregnant people to fall, some people have fallen on their bellies and have been okay, some people have been in really serious accidents. So in the grand scheme of things- You're um, blessed, yes. My, my fall Privileged. wasn't, you know, like I said, so severe. Go around and, people. You know, as long as the baby's okay tomorrow. In America, I mean, a lot of problems. That's all I care about. I can deal with pain without pills. I've been off of pain medication since 2020 because um, I have an addiction to it. And I um, never really went back even when I've been in severe pain. So it's just more of talking about pain. Interesting. For me, I just don't, my body was in such shock. I just didn't, 
I just hope it, you know, this is something to aid your day to day life and getting in, um, like, I'm sure baby is fine and turn over it here their heartbeat and it's going to be great. But, um, how do y'all feel about people who say the baby, our baby, my baby? Those three sections. I hear women use them differently. There are some women that say, I just, you know, our baby's going to be beautiful. I hear other women that are like, I just, I can't wait to see my baby. I hear other women, Trisha, the baby. Like, how do y'all feel about that? Because I feel like it gives a different, like, notion and section for each baby, right? I don't know. Am I reaching? Tell me. I guess it's just scary because I think that a wedding can hear is if you fall or you see the TV shows, you watch those press if you fall, you know, you think of the worst. And, um, hmm. and I'm like, I don't have that conclusion yet, but I, you know, like, you know, you, you feel connected to your baby and you're like, okay, everything's, everything's fine as long as everything's fine. That's, you know, that's all you care about. Um, so, I also read somewhere where people broke their bones actually feel faster when pregnant because there's like hormonal and blood flow. I have heard that. Actually, I can't speed up the healing process, which would be great. Yeah, it's like a um, super woman. Well, I'm going to ask my doctor tomorrow, but probably that's something like physical therapy so I can keep movement and exercise so blood flow keeps circulating. Because even when I was on a plane, I, I'm not going to ever be on a plane when I'm pregnant, but when I was on a plane for a honeymoon when I was like five weeks pregnant, I was so scared of like blood clotting or DVT that I was like, circulation things because that's really scary so again I'll look into that and again I just wanted to kind of keep um y'all because I feel like I've always said I've been really I'll be real about pregnancy and so far it's been an absolute dream I always said that I'd be real I just hearing <laughs> hearing those words come out of her mouth is just really bizarre real okay it's so easy for me and I feel almost guilty saying that because it just feels Girl, get to the point. Seven minutes in. I have to speed you up. Like, I'm literally over it at this point. Right. Blah, 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 blah. Like, turn that into the fact. I'm just like, oh, I'm really new honey when I'm pregnant. Like, this is like the happiest time of my life. And I want to, you know, be able to do with it. I'm like, not everything is that. I just said. Happiest time of your life. Interesting. So, this was last night. Is that normal? The last night we took a lot of yoga. I was on board. I don't know if I'd be happy. Would I be happy? I think I'd be hungry. Not happy. I'm not hungry. It's all about happy. Just say Moses, not my husband. Jesus. Girl, I've been. You've been out of breath this whole time. Right. That's what's crazy. If it dies, if my battery dies before we get through this 10 minutes, I ain't got nothing else to say. Because, girl, what are you even saying? You know what I'm saying. Oh, 
COVID? What's she talking about? Go back. And that's what I'm saying. And that's because everyone, literally everyone, is focusing on the physicalities of Jada Pinkett. And I don't understand why. Why? Why? There were so many other jokes that were said that could have easily, easily been more warranted for violence, in my opinion. And I'm not even condoning violence. Sure, you know I mean? like, Trisha. I was trying to get away from that Will and Jada drama, but... They have also faced rumors of having an open marriage. But you're getting divorced again. Am I? No and I don't ring. have a ring on? Oh, it must be true. Oh, no, I'm like, I'm like, you see, You really watched all of it, didn't you? I sure did. If Will Smith hadn't slapped Chris Rock, I wouldn't have known the Oscars even happened. Keep fucking my wife's mouth! I'm going to. Jada of Chris Rock cracked a joke about Will. <laughs> <laughs> Get on it. I have not seen Beyonce's performance. You know, I find it really interesting. I find it really interesting how, and again, I don't want to bring astrology into this, but that's the only connection I really have. But Tauruses, like we can analyze, we can analyze art like crazy. We can just analyze it. But that doesn't necessarily mean we the best. You know what I mean? Because Trisha, girl. You know what I mean? Billy Eilish won, won an Oscar? Hey, I did not know that. Will done stole everything from the show. Dang, I didn't even know about anybody else's Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Girl, listen. I'm gonna need to pause you. Anyways, uh, this last five minutes, I'm gonna watch by myself and I'm gonna let y'all know. Uh, and pop in and, and tell y'all my thoughts because girl I, I really can't even take it anyways thank you so much for watching today's video definitely let me know your thoughts down below because i have a lot of questions i asked a lot of questions in the video so hopefully you guys have a lot of answers for me down below because girl we'll keep going we'll, we'll keep going down the rabbit hole at least for me to understand other than that y'all don't forget to like and subscribe especially if you are new here and you've been all the way to the end other than that i'm out of here and i cannot wait because when i tell y'all my experience here in utah what a terrible place just don't waste your time don't don't come here okay go to colorado instead in the life, 12 for a squat, busting all the bells out the box, hit a leaf with the box.